All right, hey guys, my name is Beast Mode, for those of you who don't know. Um, this is actually my very first video on YouTube. This is my first channel, really, and I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of making content out there. Ultimately, what I really want to be is Mr. Beast, you know? How he just really started from nothing and just made his way to the top and most one of the most successful YouTubers out there. And that's just really what I want to be. But, you know, you didn't come here to hear all of that. You wanted to know how to fix, well, different methods on how to fix your bricked Wii. All right, so before I say the methods, let me just tell you all the different types of bricks out there. So there really is only three different types of bricks. One of them is called a semi-brick. Uh, there's a full brick and there's a banner brick. Now you do have the other types of bricks, which are called low-level bricks and error. 033 but those aren't common and will probably never happen to you all right the first brick is a semi brick so pretty much what happens is when you just install a wrong system menu update in the wrong region that's literally all it is pretty much what that what happens there is it corrupts your wii and it, it just makes the wii half unusable what i mean is you can still use some stuff like you can go in settings and you can even play some games to an extent but it's just really bad and it's, it's, it's very glitchy and buggy. Now a full brick is just pretty much a brick where uh, you either played with the settings or you literally opened up your Wii and did something to it and closed it back or you just installed some wrong file that wasn't meant to go in your Wii and pretty much what that does is just shuts down the Wii so when you go to boot it up again it wouldn't turn on it would just stay black. You'd see all the lights turn on but it would just stay as is. It would just pretty much be a brick. And then you have banner brick. So this is actually what happened to my Wii personally. Uh, now what a banner brick is, is you download a bad WAD file essentially. And when you put it on your Wii, it just corrupts the whole Wii and the motherboard. And it just makes the Wii unusable. So when you go to boot it, it would only show the system menu or in some cases a system menu error. Um, other than that, you wouldn't see anything else. And that's what happened to my Wii. All right, so now this here, here are the solutions on how to fix your Wii. Pretty much what I did before I made this video, I went all over Reddit and just watched, and also on YouTube and just watched a million, not a million, but like a lot of YouTube videos and just none of them really seemed to work. So pretty much what I, what I did, I just found the ones that did work and I'm just making a summary of all the solutions. I'm not actually going to show a tutorial because there are others out there, but I'm just going to list them. So the first one is called the preloader method. So pretty much you're supposed, this is a software that goes on your Wii. It's supposed, you're supposed to already have it on your Wii for it to even work. So if you don't have it on your Wii, just skip this part. Um, but if you do have it on your Wii, you're, it's pretty much a software just used to access this uh, secret system menu that appears right before the original system menu of your Wii. Now, what you can do with that system menu is you can, I'm not sure how it works, but you click some buttons and go somewhere and pretty much you just send your Wii back, back in time. So you send it back to stock. So it would delete everything, all saves, but ultimately it would fix your Wii. So that's, that's the good thing. So now you also have another solution called the boot me method. Now I'm not exactly sure how this works, but I know you're supposed to set your Wii to boot me too and you're not supposed to have a black Wii or a V Wii. You're only supposed to have a white Wii. I don't know why this works only on white Wiis, but that's just how it is. Um, and pretty much it just works the exact same as preloader. You can get that system menu and just send your Wii back in time. Okay, now with this third method, this, this method is kind of weird. I don't know how exactly it works, but I've seen one specific video. I'm not sure where it went. It may have got deleted, but this one video showed a person having a GameCube controller and he plugged it into the fourth port of the white Wii and he pressed all the D-pad buttons at the same time while booting up the Wii and he accessed this that secret menu I was telling you about earlier and he sent his Wii back in time and he fixed it. So I'm not sure if this works on all different types of bricks and all different types of Wiis but you know it did work according to the video so I'm just going to list that as a solution. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know if that works on all Wii's. Now, this is the last method on how to fix your Wii. 
I don't even know why I'm saying this. It's It costs way too much money. It's not worth it. But pretty much what you do is you go on this website called Save Me Fry. You order this little dongle. And once you get it, well, first of all, it costs 40 bucks. So already right there, it's not worth it. Just go buy a new Wii for 30. But anyways, if you do go out and buy it, you pretty much are supposed to open up your Wii, take out the motherboard, take out this certain NAND chip. That's what it's called. And you're supposed to replace it with the dongle and then close it back up and pray that it works. So again, it's not gonna work in all cases, but it does work in most cases. But again, it costs 40 bucks and it delete all your save files. And at that point, just go buy a new Wii, you know? It's not, it's not worth it. But if you're one of those people that won't really wanna save your Wii, just, you can go buy that dongle for 40 bucks. No one's stopping you. Now, those are really all the solutions on how to fix your Wii. If None of those solutions work for you. There's probably a good chance you're never ever gonna save your Wii unless you wanna go buy a new one. So I'm just telling you the truth right here. If you can't fix your Wii with those methods, you're not gonna fix your Wii. That's essentially what it is. Um, at the moment, my Wii is still broken. I haven't fixed it yet. I'm not willing to put all that time and effort into fixing a Wii, especially when I just got a Switch. So, I mean, there's no point, especially with all the ports that are happening that, uh, 3D All-Stars too, like the Mario Galaxy, that's insane. So I don't I don't really see a need to fix my Wii, especially with all these ports that are coming to the Switch. So, you know, if you do, if you don't want to fix your Wii, you can always just get a Switch. I know it costs a lot of money, but there's a lot of perks that come with the Switch. So pretty much this was my little short video, my first video actually on how to fix your bricked Wii. It's not, it's not the best. It doesn't have the best editing skills, but you know, I'm just starting and I don't really, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of making content out there. Um, but yeah, if you found this video helpful, just please subscribe, hit that red button. It, it would really mean a lot. It would just kind of validate what I'm doing, you know? Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. If you have any uh, questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'll literally answer them within the same hour. Well, anyways, I hope you guys have a good day and make sure you subscribe to Beast Mode. See you guys.